What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money of Toys video. Today, we have some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. We have some updates on a wave that we talked about a little while ago. If you guys remember back, uh, I, don't, I don't remember exactly when it was. Maybe it was like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, something like that. We came on the channel and we discussed a brand new WWE Elite figure line that was going to be coming soon. If you guys missed that video, we're going to kind of refresh that video. So if you guys missed that video, it doesn't really matter because we're actually going to reassess it and come back to it right now. And we have even more details about the set and it's actually pretty interesting. So I'm excited to dive into it with you. So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and get started. So like I said three weeks ago, we talked about a new upcoming WWE Elite line, and it's actually the WWE Elite Collection Greatest Hit Series. So it was a leaked lineup of a, apparently a WWE Elite Greatest Hit Series, which was going to feature six different superstars. I guess this is kind of similar to the Lost Legends series that came out years ago. If you guys remember, I remember going into Toys R Us and finding these figures. Remember, it was like the Ultimate Warrior and Chris Jericho and Shawn Michaels and Undertaker. If you guys remember that wave, let me know down in the comment section below, but it was a wave that came out around like Elite 45, 46, 47, somewhere in there. It was around the same time we got the Elite 47.5 wave, very odd times, but anyways, we have the details of that Greatest Hits series to talk about today, and I think you guys are going to be intrigued about it, and one thing that is so good about this is that it's going to be re-releases of actual great figures from the line, but they're going to be updated, right? They're going to have double jointed arms, they're going to feature true effects technology, they're going to have all those things, so that is something to keep in mind when thinking about these figures and I'm pretty excited about the wave so let's go ahead and dive into it. I'll of course give my, my not my exact rating but I'll give you guys my thoughts on these figures and if we needed these re-releases so let's go ahead and get started. So the first figure in the wave guys is actually going to be Rey Mysterio and it is going to be based on his Elite Series 24 figure. Now this is a figure that I think a lot of people have not seen in a little bit. You may not have ever seen this. I feel like this is one of the most slept on Rey figures ever. It's one of the most underrated WWE Elites they've ever made but it is like the Days of the Dead Sugar Skull Halloween-esque style gear, right? It has orange, it has black, it has white, it has the Sugar Skull, nice Days of the Dead mask. It is a sick figure, man. I can just imagine having this figure re-released. Maybe they update some technology. I imagine it'll have double jointed arms. Like I said, I don't think they're just going to straight re-release it. It's going to be similar to the Elite 3 John Cena, I imagine. Just like we got with the top picks John Cena. I imagine they're going to take old figures and they're going to update them and it's going to make them incredible. I expect new head sculpts new technologies, new accessories, things redone in a great way. And this Elite 24 Ray is insane, man. I have one of these. I actually found it at my local thrift store. Haven't found a WWE figure at my thrift store since. It's been like six or seven years since I found this figure at my thrift store, and it hasn't had another figure like this since. Not even close. I, I don't think I've ever even found another figure that is a WWE figure since I found this one. But this is a beautiful figure. You guys are going to be really hyped for this one if you guys missed out on it. Greatest Hits, Rey Mysterio is Elite Series 20. The next figure in the set, guys, is going to be The Undertaker. Now, we did cover what figures or talents were going to be in this wave last time, but this time we actually have the details of what figures are going to be re-released, so that is what's so exciting here. But The Undertaker is going to be the Elite 8 re-release, and the Elite 8 is actually a really, really good figure as well. It's one of my favorite Undertaker elites. I like the head sculpt. I like the singlet. I can just imagine how good these figures are going to be re-released with double jointed arms. Maybe they'll update the size of the arms. Again, I, I, I just think this is going to be a great looking figure. I cannot wait to see what it looks like, but the Elite 8 is a really nice figure if you guys have never seen it. His arms were a bit skinny for back then, but I think, again, once you give it interchangeable hands and you give it the great treatment, the true effects technology, this figure right here of Elite 8 Undertaker is going to be absolutely insane. Now, diving into the next two figures in the set, man, we have Jake the Snake Roberts featured in this Greatest Hit series. We've been getting a lot of Jake the Snakes, I feel like, over the last few years, but we're back again, and this time it is the Flashback 3 re-release. Now, the Flashback 3 is actually the really rare Jake the Snake that did not get pushed out. You know, it's the Harley Race wave, the Build-A-Figure, Shawn Michaels GM wave, right, with Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. You had Harley Race and you had Jake the Snake. This wave was pretty damn rare, man. Not a lot of it got distributed. It's it's one of the rarer series that you'll find. It's the Build-A-Figure GM HBK wave. And so this figure looks insane. I always like this figure. I've never I've never had it in my hands. I've never had it in my collection. So this is one that I am very excited to own. I, I just think the colors are really nice. I thought it was a great looking head. It's going to probably have true effects. It should be updated. The boots are really nice. This is a great Jake the Snake, and I think we may be looking at the best Jake the Snake ever 
once we get this figure in hand. You know, we'll have to see about it, you know, and play around with that. I do also like the Hall of Fame version, but this is still a really good Jake the Snake, and I'm excited to get it re-released, man. This is going to be one of those insane figures. So, Jake the Snake is the next one in the Greatest Hits series. Moving things along, man, we have another Greatest Hits figure, and it's going to be The Rock, and this is it's a little bit of a weird re-release, I think, but it is the Best of Attitude Era re-release. So, it is going to be the one in the long slacks. It's going to have a custom shirt. Now, this is what's cool, is I hope that it's not just the same exact shirt that they gave The Rock last time. I'd love to see a new shirt. That way you kind of give people an incentive that already have that first Attitude Era Elite Rock Hopefully they give him a new shirt, a different style shirt. So make it the same cloth material, of course. Give him an updated head sculpt. I think it'd be cool for the double jointed arms. I think it'd be cool to see new leg molds, to be honest with you. But even if they just re-release the figure with double jointed arms, true effects head, and they give him a different shirt, that would be worth the pickup because then you would have incentives for people that already have the first one. They'd want the second one, of course, to have the shirt to put on other rocks and to have a completely different figure. So hopefully that'll be the case. It could be a re-release, but it would be nice to see with a different cloth shirt. And I think it'd be cool to see uh, there's an array of different shirts. He was always wearing crazy shirts back then. So to see a different shirt would be amazing here. But it is going to be the best of Attitude Era rock figure. And so this this should be cool. I'm, I'm excited to see what this looks like. Now, I'm imagining that we're going to see images of this very soon, whether it's this month or starting next month. You know, they always tend to, you know, release sort, sort of images, you know, from Mattel and WWE and stuff like that. So we'll have to see about that. But the best of Attitude Era rock is the next. And the last two figures in the set are going to be Rikishi. So Rikishi is the next figure in the set, and this is actually going to be a re-release of his Hall of Champions figure, which was a really, really good figure. Now, I don't know if that will include the Intercontinental Championship. I imagine it would, you know. I, I imagine it would include the Intercontinental Championship, but this is another great figure, one that I always turned into custom. So I have owned this figure, I think, twice but I never kept it stocked like some idiot dumb moron. So I am going to have to get another one of these. But it is cool because it will have double jointed arms again. It's going to be an updated Rikishi. It should be insane. That figure is really great. So the Hall of Champions is really nice there. And getting another Rikishi is awesome because that's a talent that we haven't had a lot of. I think he's only had two elites ever. So that will be a really good one there. So Rikishi, Hall of Champions re-release should be very nice. And the last figure in the set is going to be Bam Bam Bigelow. And it's going to be based on his Legends 5 figure. And the Legends 5 is the black and orange. It's very nice figure. It's got like the big collar on it. You guys know that we did just recently get a Bam Bam not too long ago in the Legend series with Target. But this is a nice figure. This is one that I've never owned again. So again, getting this one will be really cool. You get another look at Bam Bam there. It's kind of wild how many Bam Bams we have now. I think this is like our fourth or fifth Bam Bam. So you guys know you have the rubber overthrow. You have the rubber gauntlets. I do believe those things were removable. So you get the entrance gear. Maybe they can remold it or retool it in a way that makes the figure better. True effects head sculpt similar to what we got with the Legend figure. I mean, I think this is going to be a solid Bam Bam, but this is a figure that I have never owned, so that's another one that I can check off the list there. Of course, I want the OG, but I think this is a good way of getting our hands on some of these figures, and just imagine if they do another Greatest Hits line. Maybe they can pick out some other figures that have not had similar releases, so, you know, maybe Harley Race could be a part of the Greatest Hits series, or maybe, you know, I, I feel like it, that kind of hurts some of the legendary status of some of these figures, but at the same time, you can get your hands on some gems that, you know, maybe are lost among, among you know, eBay searches. You know, you like you can't find them that often. Getting a re-release in there with double joint arms, true effects, all those things is really nice. But that is the greatest hit series, man. We had some great news here leaked out to, to us here. So we know all the details of the greatest hit series. So I can't wait to see what these figures actually look like. But it was intriguing to see what figures they were going to be because we already knew the talents. We were speculating what figures they might be. I think I even guessed what they might be. But now we know what they are. So that's, that's pretty sweet, man. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap up today's news video. Let me know down below if you're going to be grabbing the greatest hit series, which figures you're going to grab, which figures you're going to skip over. Do you have the OG of any of these figures? Let me know down in the comment section below, man. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching me. Leave, you, leave me your thoughts on the greatest hit series down in the comment section below. Have a blessed day, and I will see you guys in the next video. We do have to get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out is going to go to Chadwick Gatch, who says, I hope Jazzware shows Ring of Honor figures. And I think we're going to see some Ring of Honor stuff. I don't know if it'll be like an announcement style or if they'll actually show us some figures on display, but I think we are going to see or hear of a Ring of Honor line with Ring of Honor packaging and like details and stuff like that. Could you imagine like a Samoan Joseph, an Adam Cole, a Brian Danielson, a CM Punk? There's just so many talents they can do there, man. So that will be really great. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap it up. Huge shout out to Chadwick for the comment. The return of the daily shout outs in the videos, man. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. I'll see you guys next time. You crossed the line.